Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect subdivision surface circle or cylinder. To demonstrate this, I'm going to go to an empty scene, create a cylinder, and remove the caps from the caps tab. Now, let me turn on my lines and I'm going to simplify it a bit. I'm going to put only one height segment and I'm going to start with the, the minimum three rotational segments. I'm going to create a subdivision surface object and I'm going to set this to four and four just to get a very fine subdivision. Let me put the cylinder under the subdivision surface object and I'm going to go to my top view over here and press H to frame it. And you can see that a cylinder with uh, three points or a disc with three points, and I can make this smaller, we'll do exactly the same thing. Let's make a subdivision surface object here and let's set this to four and four. And you can see that both objects suffer from the same problem. This is definitely not a circle. If you do want to test it, you can always go and create a circle right there and scale it down and you can see how much your shape is going to comply to the circle. Now I'm going to remove the disc because what I'm going to show in the cylinder is exactly the same thing. As far as the cylinder is concerned, let's go and increase now the rotation segments to four. That looks a bit better, but still, as you can see by overlaying the circle, we got that difference. We got these high spots and these low spots. So now let's move to five. And here now we're starting to get something that resembles a really, really tight circle. I can go to the circle and increase the subdivision so we can see the difference. Now you can see here that it doesn't look bad. So for all intents and purposes, five points will be the minimum required to create a nearly perfect circle using a cylinder or a disc or just a set of points. Now, my advice, if you are doing a subdivision surface modeling and using quads, is to start with eight, because with the eight points, you are going to get something that is indistinguishable from a perfect circle, no matter how close you go. But uh, having said that, again, with five, you're good enough to have an extremely good circle, especially if there's nothing around it which uh, the human eye can tell that it's not a perfect circle. This information is going to become important in other quick tips and tutorials that are going to talk about subdivision surface modeling. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.